Saddle. Green. Saddle. No way. Oh god. Dude, seriously? <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Here's, here's what I tell people about playing number two. If you're not stupid on the tees that you pick, um, you can have a blast playing number two and you can come fairly close to playing your own game. If I, have, if I pick tees where I have to hit a three wood into every green, green I'm gonna, it's gonna be the worst day of my life. Most excited I've been to play golf in a long time. First time, I've got a beautiful day and uh... We're gonna actually play some golf today. I, I can't imagine a golf course that's better designed for a separation of talent. And like, he can hit the shots, his okay shots are good enough to hold these greens and ours aren't. Neil, what's going on today? Death match on number two with uh, Hickory Clubs. Well, our history is we played in the Hickory tournament at the Ringer. I was the Hickory champion. DJ was a semi-finalist. Or oh, the finalist. You finalist. You, yeah, that's right. That you morning. You both made it to the championship. Yeah, so we, we uh, had a great championship match. So it's a rematch. And we're going to play from the white tees, 6200. I was a little nervous because, you know, you don't get to play bucket list courses very often. Predictions for the match? I'm so excited. Uh, Neil's going to beat you. Okay. <laughs> that's cool, man. This is my favorite golf course in the United States. I couldn't be more excited. When par is a good score, golf is so fun. So James Walker Tufts, when he decided to retire, sold his part of the business, he got about $700,000, which is worth about $16 million in today's money. He decided to build a health spa. He had some kind of gastric disease off and on when he was a young man, an older man, and he knew the importance of health. And up north, everybody was suffering from consumption, which was a wasting disease, and they came south for warmer weather and sunshine to help cure what was wrong with them. And he said, well, rather than having them go all the way to Florida, what if I did a mid-south resort? So he bought about 6,000 acres, and they made fun of him behind his back because they said, I fear he has more money than cents because he paid $1.25 on average for the land, and they said, it's not worth but 85 cents. And he didn't plan for golf. They had roke, which is like croquet, and they had horseback riding and tennis and all these sort of things. But people from East started bringing golf clubs, and they would play with them in the dairy farm and so they finally broke down and said we need a golf course and the first one was built about 1897 98 nine holes and then the next year they said oh we love this but we need more golf holes and so they did some more and finally he heard about Donald Ross and Ross came at the end of 1900 and started work in January 1901 and started moving and rearranging the holes of, of, the, of the, the course they already had and then continued from there and until he died he kept changing, altering, and adding to the courses here. And then he ended up just rearranging until he finally had number two the way he wanted and, and did three and four. And a little Tiger, Tiger kind of ripped off the tin whistles uh, Dad, what do you logo, yeah. didn't he? The first time I saw that, I said, are you kidding me? I played this course before the, the restoration and I struggle to, even now, like having seen it before, picture now how it looked before. Because when I came down here, the place was bankrupt, basically. I'd grab a golf cart, I'd run out on number two. I mean, the place was deserted. And I'd run out on number two and go play 18 holes on number two. And that, that day is not coming back, hopefully. <laughs> it, play, it played very differently then. I mean, it was a very different golf course. And changing the golf course back to more of its original, original design was, I mean, like I say, it was it was no slam dunk decision. I, I just think it was brilliant. It was, it was brilliant. It was so well received. What makes golf special 
in this area is the connectivity with the sand and the landscape. Like that's what makes these courses firm and what makes them play the way that they're supposed to play. Everybody jumped on the bandwagon. It's, it's good for the environment. It's good for the game. I mean, it, it, for the kind of game that you play. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I think everybody has, everybody has latched on to the idea. There's a, there's, a, there's a funny story about Nicholas. He gets this old picture, number two, and he starts showing it to the people at Pinehurst. He goes, this is what number two is supposed to look like. This is what's not, you know, I mean, this is what's supposed to look like. But he builds a golf course across the street. It doesn't look anything like that. We're going back. We're going to go try to find the Sunday yard arms from uh, Sunday of the U.S. Open. I cannot wait to watch, plates. to watch how he does this. Yeah. Oh, that's how you start it. He has flagged it. Stay. See, we have documented evidence that that was an accident. <laughs> this looks fantastic. Grab. Great shot. Well done, D. Thought this course was supposed to be hard. Yeah, what's so difficult about it? Good for him. All right, Randy yeah. and Lauren are playing a are match. Are you staking her? I'm gonna stake Lauren, yeah. Oh no. Oh my gosh. It's the too late to change your bet. She's clearly nervous to play Big Randy. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it's got some, some Ollie vibes going. Straight off the rocking chairs. We always say that number two feels like five hour chess match and the hickories were basically a chess match within a chess match. <laughs> it was kind of like a chess match when you have to use the clock. Yes, that's exactly what it was. We were, so it was we were, like, it wasn't a... We were old men in Central Park. It wasn't just like a chess match where you get all the time in the world. It was like, <laughs> no, okay, you're in, you know? Yeah. Over the green at the first. Yeah. Maybe I'm Kasparov. Yeah, you know. Sure. Or no, maybe I'm the IBM computer. You might be the machine. You're, yeah, you're exactly. Casper. Exactly. There's no weak holes. Um, I guess you could argue one's not the sexiest hole, but I think it's a great starting hole. This, especially with the pin we had on the right, where you miss that thing pin high right, and you are like the ball's probably either rolling back to your feet or. If you play at 45 yards right, there's actually a ton of room over there, and there's this great look at the impossible shot you have coming up. God, it was close. How does this punishment compare to just rough? Way better, in my opinion. Because you can still get a club on it, but it's pen penalizing enough that, I mean, I'm, what, five yards off the fairway, and I got a good look, but Go. I also could have been a yard left and making five at best, so. Trees. Oh. Ooh, oh. cashed it. All right, two up. <laughs> Number three, I think, might be my favorite hole in the course. I'm probably gonna say that four or five times today. The most diabolical green probably on the golf course. There's nowhere to miss it. It just drops off severely from the back, from the left, and it's designed that way. Like, you're supposed to come into this green with a wedge. Oh, golf shot. The kid came to play. I knew you were going to make that. <laughs> They've got us moved way up today. You can probably cover the burn that cuts in on the right. Usually you've got to really decide if you want to lay short of that or if you want to try to go over it. It's just going to leave a little flip wedge into the green, but the green is looks like it has about six Buicks parked underneath it. Little shelves like this to try to land your land your wedge. Like Lauren and I, our distances are within two, three yards of each other when we both hit it pretty well. She'll probably beat me. <laughs> Oh God, get down. Get down, get down, get down. Flaps. Oh, on it. Woo. 
Shot. If you go over the green here, you're gonna make triple. Did you hear me say that? All right, after that bunker shot, Neil has, unfortunately, as some I predicted, gone long. That's what happens. All right, here's the blue tee on number four. Here's where these lads are headed. So the fourth fairway, it's a long par four and it dog legs to the left and goes up the hill, but the fairway cants from right. left to right. So if you really want to hold the fairway, it's not horribly firm right now. If you want to hold it when it's firm, you need to hit a draw actually into that slope or else everything's going to run off into the right native area. And then you get up in your second shot, Thankfully, the ball's usually below your feet and you're able to hit a fade into it, but the green definitely favors a left to right shot coming into it. So it's just a good look into, you need to be able to kind of shape it both ways to be able to hold fairways and to hold greens out there. Magnificent. Sick. Neil, did you tamp down the fringe there? The ball mark, the... Off the green? Yeah. Can you fix the ball mark off the green? You are. It's like he sticks it in the fringe? Yeah. It's not like highly proud of the punch. Alright. <laughs> you want the hole? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> did you repeat what you told me? That oh, you're not allowed to tamp things off, off the green? Well, did, did you do that? You said you did the same thing. I didn't right? say that. Yeah, you did. You just said it off camera. <laughs> not say that. You're trying to flip the script. You literally said that. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> that better be good. Oh, yeah. Where is it? It's like just right of the whole 20 feet, maybe? <laughs> 260, dead into the fan. Just a little high floaty. Go, go. 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 Oh. If you look at this from down here. It's, it's terrifying, right. I'm thinking if I like hit this high side lip out, like I'm chipping. Very classy there. All right, here comes Neil. He knows what happens if he hits it past the pin. He's a little gun shy. Safe. <laughs> Saddle. Good run. Saddle. No way. Oh god. <laughs> really? Oh my god, folks. <laughs> Watching your ball roll away from the hole is a very unique form of punishment, right? It's a feeling where it's like, oh, that's okay, that's Pinehurst. Like in case you forget for like a half a second where you are and that ball starts rolling away from the hole, you're like, that's what you come for. This is why you play number two. Especially on the first one. I think you get to try it again. Good old Deej. God, man. What happened, what happened there? Six, 66 yards out. I hit it to about four feet. You know, checks and just falls off the left side, triple bogey. I mean, if I make that, that's three feet right of the pin, birdie putt. Tough, tough scene. <laughs> it's a fine line out really, here. Really, really tough scene there. Like, I didn't like, like I'm not, bad shot no, triple, that pin's you know? just impossible. I'm not dancing on the grave, but he putted it off the green from 10 feet. That's dancing <laughs> what, on the grave. That's, yeah. <laughs> this is DJ Pye. Pye. <laughs> like, four is like, it's a nice walk. You know, it's challenging, but it's like, oh, nice. Two's like, you're walking around and you're constantly like, who's there? <laughs> you're out on patrol. Like, like hello? Did, what what did was so, that? Did someone just walk in? <laughs> did you hear that? <laughs> That bird almost just committed suicide. Very classy play here. Oh, he 
equipped it. Go! Go, 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 go! Let's go. It's gone. No. Should just stop. Felt like my lag putting was really, really good the first six or seven holes, and then that happens on seven. I you know, run one over that hump, and I'm screwed. And then the rest of the round, I'm just like <laughs> so attentive. I'm, le I'm leaving putts 15, 20 feet short. You know. When people talk about staying patient during a golf round and not trying to force things and not trying to fire at everything and just really like, you know, you get to the par fives and you have a good shot and it's like, okay, here's a chance where I can go. I can try to strike here. But, you know, 80% of the time you're just sitting back, trying not to make doubles. Yeah. Trying not to put yourself in bad spots. Which sounds horrible and doesn't sound very fun probably, but it's like maybe the most fun I've had on the whole trip so far. Neil knocks in a bird. Kind of, it kind of broke the other way. Good birdie. Thank you. Back to one down. One down. Is that the line a lot of the guys you caddy for out here take, Joe? <laughs> yeah, every single one of them. <laughs> yes! Now we're going to play. The seven iron, I just don't see how it's going to stop. Because I have to take some off. Good seven. Yeah. Too good. That's really good, man. It was a battle. Played the last three one under to shoot forty one. Five eighty into it. Five eighty. Necky Randy. But yeah, it's just such a complete yeah, test yeah. of golf. I love it. It's an exercise in distance control. Yeah, exactly. The par threes are tough because when you're playing your set of clubs, like you take distance control for granted so much because yeah. you have literally twice as many clubs no. in your bag. You know exactly this one goes 160, this one goes 170, this one goes 180, and yeah, out there you're just trying to you're just trying to manufacture this, you know, the the mashy niblick. Like man, I can either so hit it 105 or I can hit it 140. I'll square the turn. Five beats to six on the par three. <laughs> Let me recall you guys to a classic movie Walk called uh, The Breakfast Club. Sure. Where Principal Vernon <laughs> is going. in the cafeteria. <laughs> mm -hmm. And John, you might know him as Ju uh, Judd Nelson. Yeah. He's like, that's a detention. He's like, fine, whatever. That's another one. <laughs> cool. Like, I don't care. That's another one. I feel like that's Donnie Ross to me. Like, that's a double. Fine, dude, I don't care. That's another double bogey. Like, dude, fuck, I don't care, man. That's another double, Randy. Just say like, one more thing, and it'll be a triple. It's like the perfect encapsulation of like my attitude out here. Like, fuck, like, I don't care. Like, what are you even talking about? That's another <laughs> double. Stop, stop. Hey, hey. Can I go over? Still roll. Brain Great shot. Oh my God, and mine did. Jesus. Um, one down for the first time all day after winning the first three. That's another spectacular feeling. There's a lot of golf left. Stay patient. There's a lot of golf left. There, that's that's the sound. That's, right? that's, that was, that's what we're waiting for right there. The hickories are like playing wood bat baseball. Like there's no better feeling in the world than hitting a yeah. home run with a wood bat. And, you know, it's great to hit it with one metal one, but like did you when you hit that, you know, persimmon driver or wood driver, hickory driver, it's such a good feeling when you hit it right. And then when you miss it, yeah. Lauren's instructed me to get steep on one. Well, this is 
is the 13th hole, probably my favorite hole in the back. Um, we're way, we're moved pretty far up here, so it's decision time. If you're gonna hit driver, you gotta squeeze it into a pretty small area. If you wanna lay back, totally fine, except you're shooting straight uphill to what looks like a middle pin, which is not too bad. If you have a niblick in your hands, you gotta feel good. You gotta feel good if you got a niblick in your hands. Hickorito on number 13. It's got the big stick. I think that should be good. Ah, so good. Nice. Dude, that's crazy good, dude. When you play here, it's like it's gonna be a five hour plus round, maybe longer. But it's so nice. Like I feel like I want the round to go to be six hours. Like I don't mind the weights. It makes me it almost feel like you can savor it more. A, it really is a special place. I guess I've never had more fun on a golf course that I've struggled at. I could, that's that's the part that is amazing about it is you could play great and have such a good time. But like if you go to some golf courses that really beat you up and you play like shit, it's not fun. And that was. I don't know how to explain it. God. Go, go, go. Oh, good shot. Shot, Neil. Oh, great read. Boy, woo! Great birdie. Two up, Mr. Icarito. Really good. Fifteen, the par three. You're yeah. just you have to land it on the size of this dinner table. Go. Go. Sit. Woo. What a golf shot. Oh, go in. Final right. Yep. Yeah. And your distance control with the hickories is so You've got no clue spotty. How far like the niblick mashy goes. So you're looking at that it's one, like you're like 37 okay. degrees. I guess has like a seven iron. Uh, okay, cool. If I'm but I gotta short. Take, I gotta take like ten yards <laughs> off my seven iron because it's got a wood shaft. <laughs> So I wanted it. it so bad. The other thing with Huber too, like some of those, like the open tee boxes. Oh my God. He's, he's playing number 16 as a as a par four. We're playing it 30 yards up from him as a par five. Yeah, if you can get one to move right to left, man, you get over that bunker. That's, a, that's, that's not an option. Let's just stop you right, right there, Joe. Stop there <laughs> with the wind off the left. Mm -mm. Seeing him do this at Sawgrass where on a hole that clearly bends right to left, but if he can get it over trees on the left, he's gonna hit it cut. And he saw it, sees these trees, I'm like, all right, is this the sawgrass shot? He's like, oh, these trees aren't even, they're not even in my eye line. Cut. God, you are a cut. scumbag. Good as I got. Cut, 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 cut. Cut. Big. It's gotta Big be good, right? Should be good, I mean. <laughs> scumbag. I've never seen anybody take that line before. <laughs> um, and, he, and he hit driver, Nine iron. Driver nine iron in there. Moment. Moment. Great shot. Oh! <laughs> oh, I quick stepped it. Oh, there's no way that doesn't go in. <laughs> There it is. Shot. Good swing, man. Shot. Down. Get out of the air. Not a it takes all of your attention. I had a few putts from off the green, and normally, uh, you know, when you're putting from the fair, when you're using the TC way, it's almost like you're laying up a little bit. You're like, yeah. ah, yeah, I'll just, you know, slap this up on the green. I'll have, you know, inside 10 feet. No, that's the only play it's with the, the hickory. Yeah, but it's like the opposite feeling. You're like, okay, if I 
don't hit this leaf right here, it's either going to roll right back to my feet, or <laughs> if I blow it past that leaf, it's going over the other side of the green. Yeah. So it's just, you're constantly just paranoid. Ooh. Ooh. All my oh. round. I was not going to let that one dive though. <laughs> Where do you think it's playing? It says 211 playing 207. I bet it's a 215 or. Great shot, Hubs. Damn, put around a call. Incredible up and down. Thank you. Oh, did he answer oh, he's the bell? The stick. Yes, he did. Golf shot. Oh, don't don't move. Randall. Great shot. He's got a chance at a deuce coin. Thank you. This was the third time I played number two. First time I had the absolute shanks. I think I shot 97. Second time I literally scraped it around, but you know it's just kind of ugly. Shot 94. And I'll hit it pretty good today, and I'll probably shoot 95. It's, it's like it just doesn't matter. Put him in. Oh! oh. To extend the match. He's done it. Oh, oh my God. God. Great roll. That was a lot of fun. Good match. Really good that stuff. Was fun. And let's go, let's go take the 18th, like conquering heroes, huh? Go, 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 go. Great shot, Hubes. Yes. Great round, man. Great. God, that was awesome to see. <laughs> that, was. that was seriously impressive. Thanks. One Enjoy under. Yeah, First yeah. time seeing the course. Hell yeah. Enjoyed it, man. Yeah, yeah, that was man. awesome. That was sick. <laughs> TC, hey, great finish, by the way. Way to stay Way to battle, right? Way to be tough. <laughs> 17 pars and a birdie. First time seeing the golf course. I know you're professional, but that was, that was cool. That Ball was striking sweet. fiesta. That was sweet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's done it. Stewart, oh, yeah. Stewart. Oh! <laughs> God, that's a good The part. crowd loves it. Go, go. Does she play professionally? She uh, yeah, she does. She gets paid. It's not that impressive. She gets paid. Yeah, it's like calm down. <laughs> everybody chill. Everybody chill out. This is a true celebration of life. <laughs> It only makes sense that match bogeys in the last. That was awesome. Enjoy it, guys. No, that was a par. Was it? Are you yeah. good? I got up and down right there. Yeah, great stuff. Banner day. One of the best all time stuff. stuff. Oh. <laughs> you can right there. That was. That's it. We're done. You guys had a good time? There's no more golf. We're going home after this. All that talk we had about how difficult this golf course was. I mean, I didn't even make a bogey. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but no, this place is seriously impressive. Really just a uh, top five golf course I've ever played. We've well established that you're caddy here at Pinehurst. What's yes. your uh, What's your background beyond that? I spent a huge part of my life cooking. That's pretty good. Culinary school in Manhattan. Uh, stayed, then ended up staying in Manhattan for a couple of years. Worked at a couple of cool places there. Uh, then had gone on vacation to San Francisco and just fell in love with the West Coast. So. Got offered a job out there when I started looking for one and ended up out there. San Francisco, five years. Sonoma County for two. Uh, pretty much all cooking in the food industry. It's my sous chef, he's noisy. <laughs> kind of burnt myself out though, so I quit. <laughs> I don't, it's just high stress, high pressure all the time. And then to top it off, you know, 90 plus hour work weeks with probably not a day off. 
Actually, that's what I almost got tattooed on my knuckles, was slow and low. Really? <laughs> yeah. But then it was too many of the same letters. What did you get instead? Oh, Groton. <laughs> Is this all Groton on your head? Hey, you know that? No! I didn't know what it was. I've been trying to figure this out. <laughs> you didn't know that? No. Yeah. Hey, some hand torn herbs. Sure. Sure. That's an extra five dollars. <laughs> no, you want to do these in the dishwasher. I can do that for you. The strap boys aren't scared to get their hands dirty. Strap boys, we were used to cleaning up messes. That's right. You're like Mr. Wolf from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Dude, my, my sous chef is slicing bread back there. I, I gotta go watch. <laughs> no, I'm good. Great oh, presentation. Catch it. Give a piece Brad, to everybody. Short okay, rib, take one. pasta, homemade pasta, and a little uh, Dude, pass it. salad sure. with a bunch of different greens and pomegranate, Asian pear. Very simple. So Dive in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Thank you, thank you, chef. Thank you, thank you, chef. By the way, like, what, what would you guys prefer? What we play today, or that golf course that's behind you? That's what you said. Oh, like the rock. That's yeah. like this what is that be number? Five. Five. Yeah. Is there like oh, shit? That's five. Yeah. That's all waste right yeah. there. Gordon yeah. Crenshaw Are should be knighted. Serious? <laughs> I'm serious. My you know what I like about that course today? The finish is actually low-key kind of easy. Well, that tough stretch is two through six. Yeah. And you just get it right in the beginning. I was like, it's like Costa Tampa, where you yeah. up early, yeah. and then kind of leaves you with like a, oh, you know what, I can't wait to play that again. Neil the Maverick. So they've been calling me these days. What do you know about the, the late, great Mike Strands? The guy just seems like he f is pretty much the best way to put it. I mean, it's inseparable.